Dit is Papa Alfa 0 Eco Tingo Eco voor de Daily Minutes met een nieuwsupdate voor vandaag. Het is het bulletin van zaterdag. As in every weekend, our bulletin today is in English. We'll have Morse code today and an SSTV image in PD50. Hello, this is Bob McCready, GK0FGX with the TX Talk podcast of the GB2 RS News from the Radio Society of Great Britain. Now the radio propagation report compiled by Golf Zero Kilowatt Yankee Alpha, Golf 3 Yankee Lima Alpha and Golf 4 Bravo Alpha Oscar on Friday the 1st of July. The Sun has had another virtually spotless week with the Solar Flux Index keeping stubbornly below 80. As we said last week, this is getting close to the kind of figures we expect to see at sunspot minimums, such as when the SFI touched 64 in June 2007. Geomagnetically, things were a little more settled than previous weeks, with the K-Index generally being 2 or 3. On Thursday, a large coronal hole had rotated into a central position on the Sun, suggesting its plasma output could become geo-effective. If correct, we could expect the K-index to soar this weekend, with the chance of visible aurora. NOAA predicts the solar flux index will be around 80 to 82 over the next seven days. Other than the potential for unsettled geomagnetic conditions this weekend, the rest of the week looks like it could be better. The Chilton Digisond plots show that the noon critical frequency is just below 5 MHz on Wednesday, giving a predicted maximum usable frequency over a 3000 km path of about 17.8 MHz. If you want to work DX via the F2 layer, you may need to stay on 14 MHz, 20 meters during daytime. However, sporadic E should still give strong short skip conditions at times on the HF bands from 20 meters upwards. Meanwhile, if you do work any decent DX on HF, please tell Steve, Golf Zero, Kilowatt Yankee Alpha via his email. That's G0KYA at QSL.net. G0KYA at QSL.net. And now the VHF and up propagation news. The first hour of the Gigahertz Band's UK AC last Monday brought some rain scatter propagation and the unsettled weather this coming week means more showers will be around again. This is likely to give more rain scatter for the Gigahertz Bands. However, the main DX mode, Tropo, needs areas of high pressure to succeed and the next week does seem dominated by low pressure for much of the time. Only at the very end of the week may we see a ridge from the Azores high move across southern Britain and this could give some limited Tropo paths in the south and down towards Biscay towards northern Spain. The DX mode of choice at this time of year, of course, is still sporadic E, and recent events have confirmed the season is still in full progress. With recent openings to Spain on 2 metres, all the traditional VHF bands are in play from 10 metres up to 2 metres. The position of the jet streams likely again to favour paths to the southeast of Europe and round to Spain. If your shack time is limited, a good choice for sporadic E activity is late morning and early evening. The moon declination is positive, but the moon's orbit is taking it further out, meaning losses will rise towards the end of the week. And that's it for this week from the propagation team. Now that Tim Peake's school contacts are finished, you might be thinking that it's all over. As far as the RSGB is concerned, this is just the beginning of another big project. The RSGB has set up the Schools Link project to work initially with the 10 ARIWS contact schools to develop wireless-related science and its technologies into activities for use in everyday teaching. Ian, Golf 3, Yankee November Uniform, is leading the project. Some schools have already set up amateur radio clubs as a result of pupils getting their foundation licence to lead the ARIS contacts. Others are being very active with their local clubs and are looking for ways in which to include amateur radio activities into their busy schedules or are running foundation courses for other pupils. If you're interested in getting involved, contact Ian via email to schoolslink at rsgb.org.uk. Schoolslink at rsgb.org.uk. This year's AMSAT UK Colloquium takes place at the Holiday Inn in Guildford on the 29th to the 31st of July. A full programme of presentations covering all aspects of the amateur satellite world has been developed for the Saturday and Sunday, and a beginner's session is scheduled for the Friday afternoon. There will be a session on how to develop software receivers using GNU radio, reviews of the Tim Peake ARIS contacts and the educational results achieved, information about a new 76 gigahertz satellite project, a review of how to operate in the field and lots more. Libby Jackson from the UK Space Agency, with whom the ARIS UK team worked closely during the Tim Peake mission, will be speaking during the gala dinner on the Saturday evening. More details online at amsat-uk.org forward slash colloquium. amsat-uk.org forward slash colloquium. 
Radio amateurs in the south of England are asked to look out for schools and youth groups taking part in the Boscombe Down Balloon Challenge and to provide any help and encouragement that they can. The challenge invites teams of budding engineers and scientists to compete for three £1,000 prizes. Entrants will launch their own high-altitude balloon that will carry a radio telemetry payload operating in the license-free portion of the 434 MHz band. This is a great opportunity to promote science, technology, engineering and maths, but many would-be competitors will lack the radio communications know-how that most licensed amateurs take for granted. Any offers of help in this area are likely to be most welcome. This is also a very good opportunity to show off amateur radio to young people. Full details of the Balloon Challenge can be found at bdballoonchallenge.org. That's bdballoonchallenge.org. And competition flights can take place at any time up to including 31st of December 2016. The ARRL reports the US Geological Survey has posted a presentation entitled Challenges and Lessons Learned During Gorka Earthquake of 2015, which focuses on amateur radio's role in the 2015 Nepal earthquake response. You can view the presentation at tinyurl.com forward slash USGS hyphen Nepal. tinyurl.com slash USGS hyphen Nepal. Two long-serving volunteers in IARU Region 1 were recognised for their work for IARU at the Friedrichshafen Ham Radio event last week. Christian Verholt, Oscar Zulu 8, Charlie Yankee, former chair of the EMC Working Group and former EMC advisor to the IARU International Secretariat, was awarded their President's Diamond Award by Tim Ellum, Victor Echo 6 Sierra Hotel IARU President and Ol Garpestad, Lima Alpha 2 Romeo Romeo, the IARU Vice President. The award is a new reward to recognise exceptional volunteer contribution over many years. Christian was also awarded the Region 1 Medal by Region 1 President Don Beatty in recognition of his work on EMC matters in the region for more than 20 years. Wolfgang Hadel, Delta Kilo 2 Oscar Mike, was awarded the Region 1 Medal by IARU Region 1 President Don Beatty, Goal 3 Bravo Juliet, to recognise his ongoing exceptional leadership of the successful IARU monitoring system. Congratulations to both for their commitment to the work of the IARU. Now the special event news, Golf Bravo Zero Alpha Papa Sierra is on the air on the 3rd from Leicester Vintage Festival for International Museums on the Air. Activity will be from noon to 5pm from Abbey Pumping Station Museum, Corporation Road, Leicester, Lima Echo 4, 5 Papa X-Ray. Also active on Sunday the 3rd for International Museums on the Air will be Golf Bravo 2 Foxtrot Delta Hotel on the air from the Fred Dibner Heritage Centre. That's at 121 Radcliffe Road, Bolton, Bravo Lima 2, 1 November Uniform. Grey Point Fort Military Vehicle Rally Somme Centenary Commemorations take place on the 3rd from 10am to 5pm at Grey Point Fort, which is in Fort Road, Helens Bay, Crawfordsburn, Bravo Tango 19 Lima Delta. The two naval guns will be fired at 1pm. There will be military vehicles and displays on site with the stations Golf November Zero Uniform Romeo November and Golf Bravo Zero Golf Papa Foxtrot on air.
Daily Minutes zijn dagelijks om 1900 uur te beluisteren op PI2 NOS en ochtends om half elf. Aanvullende informatie bij de uitzendingen is te vinden op www.pa0ete.nl. Wil verder gerust je tips, commentaar en desnoods priet praten naar xapenstaartjexdv.me. Toch is het leuk, zo'n bovenregionale Antilliaanse Pieter. Als er een natuurramp gebeurt, vertrouw jij dan je leven toe aan het feit dat mobiele telefoons en internetverbindingen nog werken? Vertrouw je daar het leven van je gezinsleden aan toe? Ik dacht het niet. Amateurradio. Communicatie die altijd blijft werken.